Morning guys, it is day three. Day two ended pretty late last night, so I didn't get a close up and in the video. Uh, just kind of looked up and it was pretty dark. Ran out of time, didn't get the flooring on. Um, got all the boards on the decking except for uh, two. They kind of need to be special cut, so um, we're gonna fire up the generator, make a couple little special cuts on them. Uh, get the last two pieces in, get them screwed down, uh, glue the floor on the linoleum. We're going to get that glued on, uh, put some weight on it, let it sit for a while, and I guess we'll go and mill some more wood for our wall systems. I think what we're going to do, instead of milling a bunch of 2x4s, 2x6s, whatever, I haven't decided yet, probably more like a 2x4, I think what we're going to wind up doing is do about 4 foot on center with uh, some thicker wood, you know, something like some uh, 4x4s. Um, just to really hold the weight and use less material. There's not a lot of weight to the roof system of this thing, so a couple 4x4s, I think 4 foot, um, on 4 foot layout will be plenty adequate. So that'll, that'll, that'll allow me to mill less material too. That's it guys, last piece. We get to uh, lay down some glue. I gotta cut the fronts off real quick. We're gonna lay down some of that glue, some of that floor adhesive, get our uh, laminate piece laid out, figure out where we want it. I'm gonna bring Shelby back over and see if uh, see if we can't just do maybe a piece across the back where they're gonna be roosting and pooping the most. Um, I really like this wood floor. I'd like to leave some of it exposed, but we gotta let Shelby know see what she thinks she's kind of the boss all right guys here's the finished product you can see this beautiful flooring here i like this wood but i think we're going to wind up covering it up shelby's going to come out we're going to talk about it you see these red pieces right here these are all um, dug fur these blue pieces here are blue pine uh, I got some red fur with the same bluing effect taking place. Some blue pine. Pretty cool. At least it'll be good looking underneath the laminate flooring, huh? Guys, so Shelby and I were debating on what to do. I gave her the option. Do we do half? Do we do the whole thing? Uh, we decided it'd probably be better off to do the whole thing. But, I laid out our piece, and we have... <laughs> It seemed like a much bigger roll. We have exactly enough to go across the back one time. So the choice was made for us. It works out great. We're both happy with it. So um, the funny thing is too, is this piece is exactly 12 feet across. It was meant to be. So that's what it's going to look like. We're gonna let this lay down a little bit. It's been rolled up for at least two years since I've had it. So, um, it's got some waves in it. What we're gonna do is get it in place, get it marked, figure out where it's gonna go. We are gonna glue it all down and then uh, get a bunch of weight on it, get it pressed out, try to make it look as nice as possible without spending too much time on it. But that's what it's gonna, that's what it's gonna be. That was the decision made. Not by us, but it looks good. Now we get to see a little bit of the raw wood and a little bit of the uh, cheap kitchen flooring. Should be good though, if we just put sawdust on uh, everything really well, they'll poop heavily where the linoleum is laid down. They'll poop heavily there, um, everything else. Shouldn't get pooped on as much, it'll definitely get pooped on, but um, we'll be able to put sawdust down, clean it all up, and then put heavy sawdust down still. So, should work out great. We'll get this thing laid down.
guys, so here's what we came up with for the wall. We've got a standard 2x4. These bark beetles are coming out like crazy. A standard 2x4 right here. So you can see the ones that we used for a stud is almost twice the size. These are about 2 inches. That one's a little bit thicker. And then down here, I got a three and a half by, I think it's five inch beam. So, or post. So that's basically what our front wall is going to look like. You can see it's pretty big, plenty sturdy. Oh yeah. So we'll keep milling lumber, keep building, and get this thing up. All right guys, so we got two walls up. We've got a front wall, we've got a back wall, and we have no side walls. We uh, got a little further than I figured I'd get today. So I'm all right with that. I'm about out of material, so I'm up to cut a little bit more material starting tomorrow, do our side walls, and then work on our roof. I've got the roof metal. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for siding just yet. I don't know if I'm just gonna mill a bunch of stuff. I don't know if I'm just gonna mill a bunch of stuff and put it on there, or or what? I'm not there yet, so I'm not going to worry about it yet. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to watch the rest of the videos, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll continue to put out the rest of these videos on the chicken coop. So follow along with that. Let me know what you guys think as it's coming along.